Hi everyone, today I'm going to go through some of the foundations that I include in my kit. So this is great for you artists who are building your kits and don't know really which foundations to choose. And then for future clients, if you guys like what I have, during all my consultations we figure out which one is the best for you. So let's get started. So the one thing that every makeup artist should have in their kit is the BBU palette by Bobbi Brown. So this palette includes all of their concealers and correctors and then with the names and you can refill them so you just have to buy the sticks and then scrape them in there and then all of their cream foundations. So I use this for weddings, for runway, for editorial shoots. It's really great because her concealers and foundations are so creamy that they just, they don't clog the pores, so don't worry about that. They just blend beautifully into the skin and just give that nice full coverage without feeling really heavy. Next, I have Photo Perfection by Givenchy. And this foundation is very, very light in texture, but gives great coverage. And I have a few of these, and they have quite a few colors. I don't know if they have really, really deep shades yet, but I love how this looks and it feels, and it's great for doing editorial shoots, because you really don't need heavy makeup for those, and weddings as well. I usually mix it sometimes with um, a more long wear foundation, like the Tint Idol 24 Hour, which they reformulated their Tint Idol a few years ago. It used to just be 12 Hour, and now it's 24. They have so many shades, so you will be able to find your shade in this, as well as for people who are building their kit, you'll be able to have multiple shades so you can fit any client's skin tone. And this gives a nice velvet matte, so also great for weddings because you can always add in that highlight, so this is great for people with oily skin or just if you want to have really nice long wear foundation. Another one from Lancome that I have is the Tint Miracle. This is for someone who doesn't need a lot of coverage and wants a very natural look. It has a few pearl essence pigments in it, so it gives that kind of glow look. It's really nice, and they also have a lot of shades for that as well. A similar texture is the Nude Foundation from Dior. This one's a little more moisturizing. I use this personally every day. It's what I have on. And they expanded their shade range as well, so they fit most skin tones. It is what I found, actually. And it just, even though it's one of their lighter foundations, it actually has really great coverage. And it's going to hydrate the skin without making it oily or heavy or anything like that. Next, something that they always tell you to have in your kit is MAC Face and Body. I put them in smaller bottles so that it's easier to um, use. And this is great for models, for runway, editorial sheets when you really just need a light wash of color. I've used this on legs before when someone had kind of dry, chapped legs. They're a little red. You pop it on there. Redness gone. It's perfect. So it's a great thing to have in your kit just in case you need something. You can always combine it with other foundations, mix it with a moisturizer to even make it a little more diluted. And they have a lot of shades as well, as you guys know about MAC. Another Dior foundation I have is their Air Flash. This is a great finishing product. It you just I use a little bit, blend it in, and then it sets the makeup. It gives it that flawless look. Or you can just use it by itself and get that airbrush look. I don't spray it directly on to the skin because that's a mess and you probably use more product than you actually need. So I usually use a flat top brush, you shake it up, and then you spray it on there. They have also expanded their shade range in that foundation as well. Another great foundation is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Now this is a foundation that can't really tell it's on. And they also have a lot, a lot of shades. So it's great staple to have in your kit because you can... Use it with a cream foundation if you need more full coverage. Use it with a moisturizer if you want just a tinted moisturizer. And the texture is really nice. I haven't found anyone that's allergic to it. So it's really a great foundation. Another one I have is 
Kevin Aquan's uh, Sensual Skin Enhancer. He has a lot of colors in this. It's very thick. So you need only a little bit. So you can use it as a concealer. You can use it as a foundation if you need more full coverage. You just use a little bit and then just blend it out. Mix it with a moisturizer if you want to create a tinted moisturizer. There's a really lot of uses out of this foundation. Definitely for those pro artists out there. So, those that's all the variety that I have in my kit. There are other foundations I'm going to eventually try and I'll of course keep you guys updated on how they work and if I like them or not. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy and be beautiful.